Sunglasses on a Friday. We are back to full sun overhead here and you are going to find on our downtown sky camp nothing but endless blue skies. We're looking off towards the south and it's pretty quiet weather wise with today's forecast. You will find though for today that we have finally a little more of that green look. I've been noticing it here on a lot of our cams that those leaves they're taking off. Considering that we've had a chilly start to the work week this week, we finally have some heat that's really going to allow things to go and allow those blooms to take off. Now, one thing though to note for tonight, we have the full moon. So here for May, I was talking about this. The May full moon is known as the flower moon, and I know that you already know the reason why, because in North America, a lot of flowers are really starting to take off. So with those being in abundance, that's how the May full moon got its name, but it is also a micro moon. So the orbit that the moon has around the Earth is not a perfect circle. So at times it's actually a little bit further away. So when it is at its furthest point, it's a micro moon. So we are actually going to find this moon to be 222,023 miles away from Earth. It will actually maybe just maybe appear a little bit smaller to the bare eye, but it's still going to be a full moon nonetheless. So that's a little bit of weekend fun. If you're going to be maybe sitting by the bonfire tonight, or maybe you're going to be doing a little bit of work so you can have fun over the weekend. I know a lot of folks are really getting out there with the mowers or needing to still that mowing forecast for today. Just get her done. If you get that done, you're going to be in really good shape because then you can enjoy the weekend. You can have fun on Saturday when we're talking warmer weather, but just be mindful if you're pushing it and it's going to be well, a little bit warmer than what we've been experiencing lately, but you're actually going to find more rain coming back in the forecast. You can see that yellow mower coming back into the picture for Sunday and Monday. We are looking at some thunderstorms to be here on Sunday and probably not going to work out on Monday either for getting the grass cut because we're still eyeing some rain in the forecast. Another thing though, as I look towards the weekend during the day, though we may be working, we can not only enjoy the full moon tonight, which may make it a little bit difficult to see the meteor shower, but we have Friday and Saturday night that we can go and see the Aquarius meteor shower. So you're going to find that to be populating about 50 meteors per hour. So it's not as maybe intense as other meteor showers that we've seen. But the good news is, is our sky coverage as far as the clouds only sits at 6%. So we'll have partly cloudy skies, maybe a few here or there, but we should hopefully be able to get a good look at that. Of course, you're going to be wanting to look off towards the east southeast. That's going to be that direction to give you that best look at maybe finding some of those shooting stars coming across the sky or those meteors that is. Now rain chance is pretty quiet for today and tomorrow. We are watching Sunday for those storms. And even into Monday, you'll see early here in the calendar week, our rain chances pop up. Now it's not extremely high, but we will see those thunderstorms to be a little more scattered in nature. So a little more pockets, a few more bubbles. But once we get through that, you'll see that the trend slowly starts to quiet down. And then we do have some drier days that'll be finishing out the end of the week forecast. Now overall, it's been quiet here across the United States, but you can see even that pattern changing a little bit. We are in pretty good shape here at home. Not a lot going on, but you are going to find that rainfall that's off towards the southeast and even our friends into northern Michigan. They are picking up some rainfall and that's all because we are looking at a little bit of this arch kind of coming through. So a lot of that precipitation is building in, into the west, riding over towards the central plains, and then we're just kind of seeing that taking off a little bit closer to the Great Lakes region, but thankfully staying out of northwest Ohio to where we can have the sun on a Friday. So though the patterns being a little bit busy. That's why you will find those rain chances. But for now, enjoy the dry and sunny weather while we have it. Let's actually those step ahead and make sure you're ready for that rainfall. You'll find here in the hour by hour forecast plenty of sun here for lunchtime on Friday. Overnight, still not a lot of cloud cover to admire that full moon. And as we go into Saturday, you're still going to find partly sunny conditions. I'm planning on seeing quite a bit of sun, but still a few clouds will be hanging overhead here and there. We will have a lake breeze setting up. We have that today, but you will still see those easterly winds here on Lake Erie. So that's going to play with temperatures right along the lake shore. But even further inland, if you do find, hey, wait, I'm not quite to 70 degrees. Huh, that lake breeze that is going to be a big factor as far as those highs as we go through today and tomorrow. And then that rain chance you can see here we're starting out Sunday morning and still looking at some showers and even some non severe thunderstorms at this point. We will have though mostly cloudy skies once these storms pass on by and I'm hoping to keep the afternoon dry. But for now we're mainly isolating that rainfall chance to the morning. However, the timing has been very variable through this 
this pattern. So make sure you're keeping an eye not only here to WTOL 11 Plus, but the WTOL 11 Weather app. It's a free download. All you have to do is search WTOL 11 Weather. You can do that on the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, and like I said, it's free to download. You just have to go and set up the tools to use, so we'll have radar there. You also have the hourly forecast, daily forecast, including that 10-day that you see right here on air, online, and even on our social media. So if you have the app, you're in the first to know what's going on in the weather world. Here's a look, though, at that high temperature, high temperature trend, and you will find that 70s are the name of the game. Though it's very variable, considering that we're only talking a range of 76 to 70 degrees, we're only jumping a few degrees. So though it looks active, we're still going to hold anywhere from the low to the mid 70s, not only for the weekend and next week, but even as we're eyeing next weekend. So we finally might be turning the corner and maybe we are done with that cold weather. Of course, though, next weekend, this is Mother's Day, so we still have to watch for some some of that frost potential. So we'll keep an eye for some cooler mornings, but right now it's not looking well common in that next 10 days that we have coming. Now highs on average should be around 70 degrees. They continue to climb. So we are finally getting a little bit close. And if anything, it might be a touch above average for a few days next week. Average morning low should be around 47. So that means that we are getting very close to being in the clear of some of those frost and freeze conditions. Of course, we're watching out though. I know a lot of folks have been at the greenhouses and even some of those farmers markets. So we will make sure that you have those morning lows and any frost or freeze warnings that come down from the National Weather Service. The high was set back in the average, or not average, but the record high was set back in 1952 at 92 degrees and that low of 29 was back in 1974. So a little bit of time ago, but also that sunset tonight. If you are doing that bonfire, that's going to be at 837 PM. So of course, getting a little bit later in the day. Now we are at 64 in Toledo and you'll find that many of us are into those 60s. We have those for quite a few of us get some patches of green. You can see they're right along the mountains. We have some green, so some cooler temperatures there. But overall, we are seeing a little more of a warming trend as that system has moved out and we are seeing a little bit more of that warmer air trying to hold. Now for today, highs, finally, we're talking lower 70s. It'll be some of that spring warmth that we've been waiting for and abundant sunshine to go with it. So sunglasses, short sleeves, it's finally the weather that a lot of us have been waiting and asking and if not begging for. I know a lot of you, we hear you, we want that warm weather too. So that's why we, thankfully we're able to forecast those 70s straight across the board here. And as far as your weekend, Saturday kind of going to be the pick day because of that thunder shower chance as we go through Sunday morning. Again, as far as that lagging into the afternoon, we're keeping an eye on that. So have the WTOL 11 weather app for updates. Monday and Tuesday still eyeing some of those thunder showers, but then we do have some drier conditions to get us through the work week. So hopefully maybe we can have another duplicate Friday to keep those good vibes going. Now, yeah, there are some showers on next Saturday, so we'll see because I know a lot of Mother's Day plans will be going on then. So we'll work on cleaning that up, of course, keeping an eye on that system. So make sure you stay tuned here to WTOL 11 Plus.